everyone welcome to my channel and thanks for watching today's video is going to be a first impression on the new wet n wild photo focus foundation and a press powder my shade is cream beige and the powder i chose the golden tan i'm not 100 sure if this is going to be my shade but it did say medium at least for the foundation so i decided to go with this one because the the next one was medium tan so i figured this is my shade and the pressed powder i'm not 100 sure so i'm hoping that it is the right one online this foundation says that it is like your skin but better so i really hope that that is true because i love foundations they give you that type of look it was also tested under seven light condition i want to take a flash picture just to see how the skin looks hopefully again this is my shade because if not it might not look as nice i'm also going to do some errands and i'm going to the gym later on so i want to see how this is going to you know hold the smell let's see whoa Wow, it's really strong, you guys. It's really strong. It smells like, it smells like paint. Ugh, that I'm not liking. So, but if the finish is good, I'm only thinking that the smell is gonna go away after a few minutes. So let's see. On my right side, I'm going to use a damp Real Techniques sponge. And then on my left side, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. Let's just try this bad boy out, shall we? I'm going to... I hope this is my shade. Okay. We're going to go first with the Real Techniques. This is my right side. if I'm pretty close to you guys. Let me just zoom in a little more just so you guys could be able to see the foundation. I have to say I'm really liking so far how it's looking with the Real Techniques sponge. I'm liking it. It's blending good. And it's just evening my skin, making my skin look really even. All right, so that is how it looks at the moment. Which is the fun. I think that this is a good shade for me. This is my left, and this is my right. I really like the fact how it cover pretty nice my dark circles. I like that. Let's try with the brush. I want to see how it blends with the brush. The spatula actually picks up a lot of foundation. As you can see, I haven't gone back and I still have going. It picks up a lot. So, I like that, so I don't have to keep on going back and forth. So, now we're going with the elf brush. I'm going to add one more layer and then really really like the fact that it blends just as nice as the sponge with this brush and they're both from the drugstore it looks really nice and I'm liking the finish the only thing is that it does feel I don't know if you can see that or hear that 
it, it feels a bit sticky nothing uncomfortable because it really doesn't feel uncomfortable it's just when you touch it you know that it's sticky it doesn't feel sticky though oh, I'm going to use the golden tan shade hopefully it goes and I'm going to use a blush brush by Real Techniques but I like to use this for powder So this is my right side with the powder. This is my left side without the powder. It still looks really nice. I like the way the powder is sitting on top of the foundation. It doesn't look cakey. My skin just looks really nice and healthy. I am liking this so far. So let me just apply this to the left. Alright, so that is how it looks now with the powder. But we shall see throughout the day how this is going to hold. What time is it right now? It is 1.37. So I'll come back maybe some time around maybe 5.30. I'm gonna I pick up my son around 5 o'clock so maybe around 5 30 when I get back and see how it's holding up throughout the day so it's almost seven o'clock I haven't touched up all day I haven't blot I haven't done anything and the foundation still looks really good all right you guys so I am back right now is 9 29 and I have not I have not touched up all day I haven't done that because I really wanted to see how long this foundation was going to last I don't remember ever recalling reading anything about long wearing but I just wanted to know for my own purpose so I just did a couple of things I did not hit the gym I couldn't my body's killing me from yesterday so I really couldn't <laughs> couldn't make it but I'm going to give you guys a close-up so you can see how the foundation looks oh. and this is how the foundation looks right now I am very oily right around my nose area the forehead and my chin but I am combination to oily skin I don't know if I told you guys during the video and yeah around my nose is almost gone like it really just like left but then again I've been like picking on my nose and stuff like that uh, around my lip area is gone and my chin but everywhere else is still there I look a bit oily obviously as you can see this is a highlighter look in the description box I'm gonna put whatever I use today which wasn't much at all and as you can see I have some blemishes and that basically faded out also but I have not touched up all day I am going to blot right now I have some tissue Oh my god, it's not much. Yeah, I can see in the mirror right now, the foundation is like almost completely gone. All this right here doesn't have foundation. On top of my lip doesn't have my chin. My forehead still does. It still does have foundation. It holds up very well, I have to say, for myself not touching up all day. I feel like the foundation just looks really nice. A close up that is how it looks like I didn't touch up but I did add some lashes because who girl I was looking at the footage because I'm trying to edit so hopefully to have it up by tonight this video and I was looking a little crazy because I have no lashes so I just pop on some lashes that's it and put some lip gloss and of course comb my hair because I was looking a little crazy in the beginning of the video too. Now let's do a little recap when it comes to the foundation. One, the scent. <laughs> it smells like paint. It's horrible. But 
you don't smell that unless you're trying to actually smell the foundation when you apply it on your face you don't smell it the price on the foundation is $5.99 and the powder is $4.99 when it comes to the shade selection I really like the fact that they really took their time to make sure that everybody could have their perfect shade they have 18 online and the actual store I got mine at Walgreens they have about six to eight so if you cannot find your perfect shade definitely check online when it comes to the coverage this is only up to a medium it's not full coverage it is exactly what it says online it's your skin but better it hides some discoloration and it just makes your skin just look really nice and healthy the finish of this is actually a, like a semi matte I know I mentioned earlier that it was a matte no but it's more like a semi matte it looks a bit more matte when you add the powder on top also it stays true to its color the wear of this foundation I want to give it maybe about six hours if you are oily this is definitely not going to last more than five hours because like I mentioned I didn't touch up all day or blot it and the foundation completely disappeared on my chin and the upper lip and my nose which is the t-zone area is completely gone but everywhere else it looks flawless in my opinion the foundation is a liquid form and the powder really feels nice and light it feels so smooth like it really doesn't feel like you have anything at all but it covers really nice packaging is just a nice heavy glass bottle i like the fact that it is clear so i could see the foundation it has one point fluid ounce the powder the packaging is not all that in my opinion it's just plastic and it brings how much is in the back it brings 0.26 ounces when it comes to the applicator is a spatula as you guys can see I appreciate this I rather have a spatula than to have nothing at all and put the foundation in the back of my hand it applies nicely to the skin it does pick up a lot of foundation so you don't have to continue going back and forth trying to pick up foundation to apply it to your face as you can see through the video I just pick it up once and the second time that I went to layer a uh, second coat I did it again it also has this little section right here so when you close the foundation let me see I don't know if you guys heard that once it clicks that means that it's completely closed So yeah, overall, I personally think that you guys should try it. And again, if you're looking for something that is full coverage, that is not going to work because this foundation is more up to a medium coverage. I really like the foundation and the powder. Loving this. It just makes my skin look really nice and healthy. So I really appreciate that. For someone like myself that don't really go out all the time and just want to look put together this foundation is perfect for that all right guys so that is all i had to say hopefully i covered everything if i missed something please comment down below and i will answer that for you if you're not subscribed to my channel please do thank you all so much for watching and i will see you on my next video bye